Well, as you recall, if you've been watching my videos, about a couple of weeks ago, I was working on an idea for a Native American who's come across some uh, stuff dumped by pioneers uh, when they had to unload their wagons because they had too much weight. And he came across a mirror that he was going to look into. Well, I finally got the mirrors for two and a half inches in diameter. And you can see it right here. And it's, it could work out, I think, for the size I was thinking of doing. But the only problem is it's encased in this. And if I'm going to put it in the, uh, the bronze, if I have to attach this to the bronze somehow... I've got to figure out how I'm going to do that. I've got to, and, and, and the thing you got to remember is when you cast something in bronze, bronze shrinks a little. So even though I've got this, this size, once in bronze, it will shrink just a little bit. That's how, why you can't copy directly from a bronze. You can't make a mold of a, an original bronze and have it come out, uh, the same size because it will shrink. And that's how they can detect fake bronzes. They do that a lot with Remington. Anyway, I just got to figure out some way of doing this. And uh, not right now. Time to play with some clay. Well, as I said yesterday, I, I will be going to Bozeman tomorrow morning, and I'll be there all day uh, coloring a uh, copy of uh, Battle Trophy. And uh, if you want to know what that looks like, look at yesterday's video. I show you a photograph of it. Anyway, I'm going to continue working on this guy here, and I'm putting a sleeve on him. At least I'm thinking about doing that. Yeah, see. I've got to make it look like his sleeve is rolled up. It's got to look like he's rolled his sleeve up. And I'm going by the photograph I've got of the uh, modern day mountain man with his sleeve up. The one thing I notice is where he bends his arm, the uh, fold or the rolled up sleeve forms a kind of push up right there. Anyway, that's what I noticed.
I got a bad habit of breathing hard when I'm sculpting because it is a physical and mental exertion and uh, when your arms and shoulders are up all day it does tend to hurt a little at least for me I'm getting I'm 76 so obviously parts of my body are starting to you know hurt more than other parts <laughs> but I'm trying to break that habit of almost sounding like I'm dying when I breathe It's not probably comfortable for you guys to listen to either. So, anyway, that's what I'm trying to do. Let's see the uh, seam of the shirt. I've got to work out his shoulder there a little bit better. I'm trying to make a better seam in this shirt. Okay. This is the fun part, really, of uh, sculpting is detailing. It's, it's time-consuming and can be frustrating, but uh, what's fun about it is trying to figure out how to make something that isn't, is. <laughs> uh, I don't know how better to describe that. I mean, obviously, this is not... A cotton shirt that I'm putting on him it's a clay but the, the trick is to make the clay look like a cotton shirt and uh, that's the hard part You're not hearing things. I've got my playing a radio station from Wisconsin. I like these two guys that uh, are on the afternoon show. I don't normally have it rec recorded on my video because of copyrights. But I figure this it is so low that uh, I doubt very much that uh, YouTube will give me a hit. So, at least that's the uh, hope. Okay, I'm just fine-tuning the uh, wrinkles right now. All right, I'm going to put the shirt on because I can't do anything else until I get the shirt on. And uh, I'm making it rather thick because I've got to... fill in behind it.
This is where having soft clay really helps. All right, I'm going to pick this up tomorrow. I want to look at some stuff on the web as far as my... Well, no, I can't pick it up tomorrow. I'll be going to uh, uh, Bozeman tomorrow to the foundry. And then I'm going to bring the clay back or the bronze back and photograph it. So I'm going to be busy over the weekend with that. So this is probably going to be the last you'll see me until next week. Uh, of course, I'll video my trip to Bozeman tomorrow, I think. And uh, I'll share that probably tomorrow night. But as far as this clay goes, probably going to wait until next week. I'm liking the way it's coming out. And uh, I really like, I really like his attitude. I'm glad I changed his uh, head movement. He was looking out this way, and I kind of like him, like he's resting on this arm and just tired, but looking out over where he's got to go. All right, everybody. See you next week. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.